Don't put it over in that pile of wood. That shouldn't be the fun. Well, look who's here. Who's getting a piggyback ride? Hey, I don't know. I think that's going to leak. Are you supposed to be inside or outside? We got it in. We got it on. It keeps the mosquitoes in, right? Exactly right. Okay. Can I take your picture, two of you? Oh, you you are like uh, two of the best friends I think anybody could have. You know, <laughs> you're, you're, you're both fortunate. Oh, is he? Oh, my goodness. Hey, right? Hey, right. It's a moving picture, so everybody oh. has to move. Oh, okay. It's a mo You don't stand still. It's a moving move. picture. Move. There you go. And even Dallas is moving. There you go, Dallas. Show us you can yeah, move. I'm moving. with prayer and I said certainly we would be glad to do that and then my mind started racing oh Lord what am I going to pray and today we had a wedding to do and I was looking through uh, some of the paperwork and guess what I came across Angela your all's vows and the order of service and I remember the night when we were up here and we were going through things, how you wanted the wedding to be. And uh, we prayed together, we laughed together, and we cried together. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Some glad morning when this life is o'er, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore.
by and by I'll fly away. You know, uh, one thing about them, and the reason when we did their marriage, we are joining two unique people. And this is something you rarely find. And when you join two unique people who become one unique togetherness, that is a rarity. And so when she asked us to come back here, this is kind of like, well, not a closure, because I do not think we will ever close on Greg. I do not ever believe that. I believe that, uh, and I'll read some scriptures that probably bear out what I'm going to say. I believe that our spirit is something totally different from what you're looking at here. And you'll find that out someday. How I wish, how I wish you were here. We're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year. Running over the same old ground. What have we found? Honored Angela asked me to say the words about Greg. The man that we all loved that is not with us today in physical pain, but he's with us today in spiritual pain. Greg came to Eagles Nest several times during the last year while he was battling his illness, sometimes with Angela, sometimes alone. He would come up and communicate or commune with nature here. He told Angela that he always wanted, he, he liked the inscription we have on our headstone of our family, he told, could there be a better place to be? And he asked if she could work that inscription into one of the songs that she wrote for him, which she did, in a song called, I Love You For A Lifetime. When I purchased this property in 1973, I always wanted to be a place where my friends and family could get together. And, uh, Commune with nature, be together, build friendships, bonds, that type of thing. And we have done this many times over the years, and one of our annual celebrations is our Oktoberfest, which started back in 1974. And this year will be the 37th year that we've, we've held it. And in 2005, Angela met Greg right here at Eagle's Nest. And it was in September of 2005. <clears throat> nine that were married right at this spot here on top of the hill. Over the years, many have come and many have fallen in love with the peacefulness and the quietude of this magical place. And I always want everybody to come back whenever you want to. To be here, either by yourselves or with others, and share the beauty of this area. We also have had other uh, gatherings here, including our annual lumberjack event, and uh, I always like to watch Greg. He'd always be splitting wood while others are nursing beers. He's working hard splitting wood, but I think it's because he'd like to build fires. Did <laughs> 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 one uh, do that? Greg was unique in this incredible sense of humor, and I know he used to keep my wife in stitches uh, all the time with his humor, and and she loved him like a son. And behind us is uh, Bull Dahl. And uh, there's this story that Greg always wanted a hang glide. He wanted to climb up on Bull Knob and hang glide down, land in the meadow while he's listening to Horsic Pinnacles or some electronic group on his headphones. <laughs> That's Greg. He was in Colorado, sitting at such a rustic shelter. And I'm going to invite a lot of you back uh, sometime this year. We'll build a shelter and put a porch swing in it and it'll be a place for all of you to come and sit and quiet and meditate and be closer to the ears of God. I'm really happy how Eagles Nest has become a place where people do get together. We've had two weddings here, and we've had two memorial services here. So Greg's passing will continue to bring us closer together, just as he has loved this place and loved this God. It's a place to come back and to remember him and to find your center. And like uh, the inscription on the headstone says, could there be a better place to be? And if anyone has something they would like to share about Greg and Angela, 
we would welcome you to do so. We're at Ray's house is over on the other side of the ridge and it was raining really hard and then the sun came out and Ray goes, let's go look for rainbows. <laughs> so I went this way, Angela went that way, Ray went this way. All of a sudden I hear Angela go, I found it, I found it. She's jumping up and down in the rain and it was going right over Bald Knob. <laughs> and I just thought Greg said hello to us. Yeah. On his, and it was on his birthday. So I just wanted to share that. It was special to me. Anybody else? Remember now, this is a celebration of life. This is a celebration of someone you've known and, and you shared many things with. And uh, it's, it's certainly appropriate for any of you who have anything that you'd like to say to please stand up. Don't, don't be afraid. Greg first fell in love with Angela. The moment he knew he fell in love with her, he pulled up in the field and we were all sitting over on one side and, and Rich yells, hey, here comes cotton. And Angela and I are like, what's a cotton? <laughs> <laughs> so Greg comes pulling up and opens up his car door and immediately falls out of the car because he was stuck in his seatbelt. <laughs> out what a cotton was <laughs> and then a little while later Greg was fumbling with his uh, tent acting like he couldn't put it up so he could get somebody else to do it so Angela walked over I'll help you tucked her beer underneath her arm and bent over to pick up the tent and spilled her beer all over the tent <laughs> and Greg always said that was the moment that he fell in love with Angela <laughs> like Greg loved hiking up that mountain, loved it. One time he went by himself because everyone was either too tired or too lazy. I, as a little kid, I'd take hiking parties up there all the time. It's beautiful up there. But Greg comes back with this very peculiar look on his face and he goes, are there eight feet turkeys out, wild turkeys out here? I was like, I don't think they get that big. He's like, I saw turkey squatch in the woods. I saw something that was... <laughs> And he wouldn't scare him too much because he, he went back up there again. And I said it at a few other events. people's events here that we just thank Ray and Judy, Richie and Christian, that it's become more than just a friendship. We're one big family. We've known each other years and years and years, some of us. And that. Uh, we, we've had so many good times and shared. And this sweet young lady, I've known her since, and, and I just know the love that her and Cotton had, and the boys and all of them just getting along. Like I said, it's just like one big family and we just love one another and it's just a great place to be here. We just thank you all and thank you for the friendship. We love you. Love you too, Rick.